how we can use these lessons. And we have the theme verse here in Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. There is a theme verse for the month. Hallelujah. Romans 12 verse 2. You can put up the King James Version. He said, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Say amen. So we are talking about a few things here. We are talking about transformation. And how do you achieve this, what he said here? How do you achieve it? And that is what we are going to discuss. How do you achieve this? So we have our thesis. Be transformed, right? By the renewal of your mind. It's two things that you can do. You can either be transformed or you can conform to the world. So there's no in between. You can say I'm not in the world, but I'm not in Christ. It's either you are with God or you are with the world. It's either God is transforming you or the world is transforming you. And we know that when the world transforms you, it leads you to death. Because the thief cometh not, but to kill, to steal, and destroy. So he transforms you gradually. And leads you to death. But Jesus said he will transform you. And his transformation will bring about a change of mind. And we'll learn today it will bring about a change of heart. Because you cannot change your mind unless your heart is what? It's changed. The minute somebody is, hey, if somebody loves somebody and the person changes his mind, starting giving, stop giving you gifts and all that, it means the person's heart is changing. When a person's heart is changing, it's a matter of time that their mind will change. So before you see the changes in them, their heart is already gone. So God said that you love me with your mouth, but your heart is not with me. So transformation in the word of God by the Holy Ghost. You cannot transform yourself. The world cannot transform you. It will transform you from better to worse and to bad. But when Jesus transformed you, he transformed you from glory to glory. From grace to grace. From poverty to riches. Oh, from chaos to peace. Hallelujah. He is a transformer. Hallelujah. 